going to look at another way to find the least common denominator when we have larger numbers and this is called the prime method. So our steps are we're going to factor each denominator to primes. We're going to circle the greatest occurrence of each number in the factorizations and then we will multiply the circled numbers. That will give us the least common denominator. So first for 9 its prime factorization is 3 times 3 and for 15 3 times 5 so our factors that we have are 3 and 5 and we have to circle it from the one where it occurs the most times so the 3's are occurring the most here and the 5 is here and we want to multiply those 3 times 3 times 5 so this gives us 9 times 5 is 45 that is our least common denominator for these two denominators example 2 we're going to find the least common denominator for 36 and 24 these are pretty big so I'm gonna do this on the side and 36 we could do 6 times 6 and 2 and 3 and 2 and 3. So 36 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 24 we could do 4 times 6 and 4 has some 2's and 6 is 2 and 3. Now to find our least common denominator uh, we're going to pick twos and threes. Those are the types of factors we have. We pick it uh, where is the greatest occurrence in the factorizations. So for the twos we have the most in this one and for the threes we have the most in the first one and then we'll put all those together. So we have three twos and two threes multiply that out so our twos give us 8 times 9 equals 72 this will be the least common denominator let's look at another example this time we have three fractions and so our first step would be to break all the denominators to primes so for 4 we have 2 times 2 for 14 we have 2 times 7 and for 20 you might know that one by now we've done it a few times but if not do it on this side so 20 we could do 4 and 5 and 4 breaks on down to some 2's right so we have 2 times 2 times 5 and now we want to pick the greatest occurrence for each factor so for our 2's in the 4 and in the 20 they're equal just pick either one they're the same uh, for the 5's only one and for the 7's only one so our prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 5 times 7 multiply this out and it will give our least common denominator so 7 times 5 is 35 times 4 will give us 140. For our last example we'll look at denominators 25, 15, and 6. So our first step is break those to primes. 25 will give us 5 times 5. 15 will give us 3 times 5 and 6 will give us 2 times 3. So our types of factors are 2's, 3's, and 5's. Take it from the one with the greatest occurrence. So for 2's it will have to come from this one. For 3's it could come from either one. They're the same. And the 5's will come from the 25. This one has 2 and 15 only has 1. So now we have 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 or if we multiply those we have 25 times 6 
will give us 150. This is our least common denominator.